Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina, this is your first time. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for all of your love and your support. I appreciate everyone on, on all of your feedback, your love that you have shown on my last Sephora haul. And I just thank God for you all, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please, just take one second to hit that button for me. Hit the notification bell the way that you will be notified with my next upload. So today's video, I have another haul for you guys. I have tons and tons and loads and loads of goodies, makeup products. Can't wait to share them with you all. I've picked these products up from Ulta, from TJ Maxx. Marshalls and my local Walmart. So if you are interested on seeing all the products that I have purchased, please continue to watch. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna start with my Ulta haul first, the products that I picked up from Ulta. I finally got my hands on these Maybelline Super Stay 30 Hour Foundation. I heard some good, good, I, re I read a lot of good reviews on this particular foundation. You all know, if you haven't been watching my videos, if you've been following me, I do use the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Matte on all of my clients, well, majority of them. So now I'm going to start using the Maybelline um, Super Stay. 30 hour foundation and I've, um, this foundation is medium to full coverage. I purchased the shade Cappuccino, number 340. I purchased the shade Coconut, 355. And I've also purchased Toffee Caramel, 3.30. So these were the only three that was, you know, available with for the clients that I do cater to the most are those shades. So however, I'm going to continue to look and keep my eyes on the remaining of the, sh the foundation shades that I do want to add on to this particular collection. The next goodies that I have are these Ulta Beauty. These are the these are the jelly glosses. I heard some good reviews on these as well by other makeup artists. I pick up the shade, let's see. I picked up the shade Starfish. And Popsicle. And I will open up. You know, you guys, I had to show you all. I love y'all so much, and I want y'all not, I, don't, I do not want y'all to miss out on these products that will really help you. If you are a makeup lover, if you love makeup, if you are a makeup artist like I am. All right, you guys, here are the shades. The one on the top, this one here is Starfish, is more of a neutral gloss and the one below is popsicle it's more of a peachy like nude and i blend them in just a little bit it's pretty i'm so excited i can't wait to use these yeah you guys know from the last haul I had, I found, I didn't find, well, yes, I found, I picked up another one of the Mario Despagato Rose Water Spray. And I picked up two of the ColourPop Super Shock, Super Shock Shadows. This color is Fine Pearl. And this color here is AXI25. This is more of a gold shade and this is more of a pearl. Let me, let me open them up for you so you guys can see. This one here is in, in, in AX1XS. I think I might be wrong given 
the wrong numbers, but I will have it up here to make sure that I'm giving you all the right information. So it's like a gold, and I love these super shadows. I normally use them on the eyelid. I don't have to spray any adhesive on it. I don't have to use any type of um, glitter adhesive. All I do is just apply it with the brush and the pigmentation is there. I love these eyeshadows. And these here are fine. This one here is fine pearl. Sorry, you guys, my camera is not picking up, but I'm gonna have all the information, all the products down below. You guys wanna check those out. And the next product, I picked up some, one of the Morphe lip glosses. I do have some of the liquid lipsticks, but I've never tried their gloss. I picked up the shade in Bond. I'm gonna open this up so I can show you guys. A swatch. I love Morphe packages. They're so they're so adorable. All right, you guys. So this is more like a peachy, like a mauvey. This is it right here, you guys. Like a mauvey, a mauvey gloss. I'm super excited to use these these glosses, you guys, on my clients. Now, the next products I picked up are the Maybelline Loose Powders. I pick up the number 25 and the number 20. I use these powders on my face and I love them. I love, I love the application. I love the way it feels on my skin. Mm. I just love the filter effect. So these powders, I will be incorporating those in my makeup kit as well. I'm excited, you guys. So, so, so excited. I've also picked up the Maybelline Infallible. Infallible Full Wear. This is full, when they say full wear, full coverage concealer. I use it on my application on today as well. I paired off with that loose powder and this is the result. You guys, I love these concealers. Like I said, I've been hearing a lot about these concealers. I've heard a lot about the Maybelline loose powders. I have the, the pressed powders, but I've never tried the loose powders. So now I am incorporating those into my makeup kit as well. I picked up the shade in 385 in Amber and Caramel number 400. So yeah, yes, like I said, you guys, I use it today on today's application and I am super, super, super impressed. I am very, very pleased mm, at this application. It came out so beautiful. And I also picked up this product here. This is the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. You guys, y'all can guess, I use this as my setting spray. And you guys, I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. It's beautiful. The finish is awesome. I'm excited. Can't wait to use this on my clients as well. I also picked up this Miracle Sponge. This sponge is particularly used just for getting, um, for setting the face, the under eye with powder. Um, you, you can use it dry or damp. I prefer mine's damp. I used it today to set under my eyes with this, you guys. When I say that I got the airbrush finish, my under eyes. I just love the way everything came out, you guys. I am going to have to do a tutorial on this look and share with you guys. Step by step, you guys. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited. So yes, I picked this one up. I also pick up the little babies, the little miniature, look how cute they are, the little miniature sponges. 
And these are specifically for like those hard areas to get in, like right in the corner of the eye. Like if you want to contour your nose, these here are perfect whenever you apply the, the setting powder, the baking powder to help contour that nose. These here are the ones that you need for that. My next items I picked up are the Neutrogena Travel makeup wipes i love these wipes because i use these to incorporate with my um my bridal parties my brides what i love about these they are super cute they are small let me show you guys there's a cute packaging and they're super duper small yes these are going to be for my brides i'm gonna start incorporating little happy um, bags for my brides. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And of course, I picked up <laughs> the double pack as well. And these wipes are really good. I only use one wipe to take all of my makeup off. It only depends how heavy my eyeliner is because whenever I wear the Inglot number 77 gel liner, if you guys have it in your kit, you already know that Inglot do not play with their gel liner. That spe specific color, sometimes I have to use two wipes, honestly. But if I don't wear it, just one wipe to take all the makeup off, eyeliner, mascara, it just wipes it all off. And sometimes I may not... Let me go back. Let me go back and, and, and say this again. I use the wipes to take all of my makeup off and I use the Marcella water to take my eye makeup off. That's what I do. Last but not least, for the Ulta haul, I picked up the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutral Palette. And I can't wait, you guys, to try this one out so I can share with you guys. I'm gonna also do a tutorial on this as well. Let me open it up for you guys. Oh, super, 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 super beautiful. Look at the shades. This is a perfect shade for my brides, for my wedding party. If you want an everyday look, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm excited. I'm gonna do a tutorial on this particular palette. Um. That way I can be more in depth on the shades. So yes, this is the last product for Alta. Now we're gonna move to TJ Maxx. Gonna move to TJ Maxx. The first product, you guys, I didn't know that they carry these Tony Molly sheet masks. I love all of their masks. I tried every last one of them. I love the avocado. Avocado brings more nutrition and a radiant look to your skin. And I only paid $9.99 for this. And there are 10, 10 masks. I got my bang for my buck. So I'm super, super excited about finding this particular product. I did not know that they carried it, but when I seen it, I heard it and I grabbed it because you know, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, if you shop there, when you see it, you have to pick it up because it may not be there next time you, you stop by the shop. Now the next products are just brushes. I picked up this Japanese angle brush and this is for my contour, my blush to the bind the cheekbones. So I'm excited about adding these onto my makeup kit. I found, let's see, I think I picked up all of them that were on the shelf. They were super duper affordable. I paid $5.99. I've got one, two, three, Picked up three of them, $5.99. The next product, I got the Buff and Blend Japanese. These are all Japanese brushes. And I paid $5.99. And I will be using these to set the face all over the face. And I picked up, let's see you guys, one, two, three. Yes, I picked up 
three of those from TJ Maxx. And I also picked up the Dome Powder Small Brush. Y'all, I love this brush. I use this brush. This is like really a multi-purpose brush. You could really use it for whatever, really. <laughs> but I use it specifically to set the entire face. Like whenever I want to hit those areas underneath the eyes, all around the face. This is a universal brush. I love it. I, let's see. I paid $4.99 for this one. And I picked a one, two, three, four for these. All from CJ Maxx. And the next. haul is from Marshalls. Found another dome brush. Paid $4.99 for it. Japanese. I found this cute little eco, eco tools sponge. It has that, that, that sharp angle definition. So I'm excited about blending underneath the eyes, catching the under eye real sharp and depth. I'm excited about that. Um, I paid $2.99 for this and I apologize you guys I didn't give you the prices on the other items but I promise you I will have everything down in the description box for you guys and the last product that I picked up these are the real techniques um, this is the flawless base set it has the contour the foundation the highlighter brush and I paid $5.99 and I found two of them. So you guys, I promise you, the Lord was really, really working in my favor that day. Because when I walked in the store at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I seen those brushes because I was about to start ordering them to incorporate them into my makeup kit. But they were in the stores. I picked them up. I am super, super excited about a adding them into my makeup kit. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am so thankful to share with you guys all the products that I've picked up in the different stores. I will have all the products linked down in the description box down below. I also would want you to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified with my next upload. Drop some comments down below. Let me know how this tutorial was to you, how this haul was. Let me know if you have any of the products that I purchased. Let me know, let me know my sister. I thank God for you guys. You have an amazing evening and thank you so much for stopping by. God bless. Mm -hmm.